guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my top 10 favourites at the moment. Like right now. And I haven't done one of these videos before, but I've done favourites videos before, like monthly favourites. But I thought limit limiting it to 10 favourites that I like right now might be a good thing to do because I also haven't done a favourites video like all year and so I thought I might as well show you guys what I have what my favorites are right now because also I haven't done fav I haven't done many fa I haven't done any favorites videos this year because I haven't been buying makeup so I've got a couple of things that aren't makeup related in my favorites so let's get those ones done first Okay, so these first couple of favorites may be a little bit random, but they're, it's, they're my favorite things at the moment. And they may be just like what some people normally do like every day, but I have never really done them before this year. Or yeah, so let's get straight into this favorites. My first favorite is Reading. Now, yes, I am 22. Reading's never been a big thing in my life. Okay. All through primary school, I never read. We had an hour after lunchtime every day at school to read. Me, I'd sit there with my book and just go like this. So, I never read in primary school and then when it came to high school I only read the books we had to read for class. I never enjoyed reading. The only books that I read that weren't a part of what we learned at school were the Harry Potter books and I didn't read the Harry Potter books until the sixth movie came out. Can't remember what year that was but the year the sixth Harry Potter movie came out, I actually read the seventh book. And then I actually liked the seventh book that I ended up asking my parents for the other six. And I still have those books. Those books are actually in that little cubby there with my little pops from Harry Potter. Over the last few years, it's been a really bad habit for me to break, but I have been watching TV right up until the time I go to bed and so it's been really hard to get out of that habit and setting a time an hour before I want to go to bed and read for an hour before bedtime. I get through maybe one or two chapters. I have been doing audiobooks. It's, it's still reading but it's just audiobooks and I have my audiobooks I have my earphones on with my audiobook on and just reading, reading with the physical book. So these are the two books that I read. Well, this is the book that I just finished and this is the book I am currently reading. Um, it's the first and second book in the Lorien Le Le Legacies. Basically, it's, do you guys remember the I Am Not Number 4 movie that came out? Well, this is the book that it is based on. And then this is its sequel. And then I have the next two books in my shelving unit behind me. Um, I think there's more than just four books in the series, but I just wanted to get the first four and see how I liked it. I've had these books for a year. I got them at Christmas I got them for Christmas last year um, from my mother. So that's my first favourite at the moment, reading. My second favourite at the moment is walking. Now, I used to the same thing. I used to, when I wake up in the morning, I would just wake up, grab my laptop, watch some sort of TV um, or YouTube or something. These days, at the moment, I am waking up, snoozing my alarm once, come back to bed. Seven minutes later, my, my next alarm goes off. I'm like, okay, time to get up, 
go for a walk so I get literally get up out of my bed and get ready to go for a walk in the morning. I walk for about 25 to 30 minutes each morning, uh, Monday through to Friday. And if I need a break, I will, but I'll still get up at the same time each morning, which is about 5.30. So I go for that little walk just around my neighborhood. My third favorite at the moment are these Key, Key Australia sunglasses. Now any Key Australia sunglasses I love, any that sort of like have this sort of nose, not like the plastic ones, but these ones. Because I love these. I have, I'm recently actually made a sale with white black cream sunglasses i think i had one more but i love getting different colored sunglasses to go with different sort of outfits like if i'm wearing black pants i don't know if i'm wearing like something black i want to wear my black sunglasses if i'm wearing something navy i've got these sunglasses that are like they're like white with blue on the inside. I like those if I have like a white top with it. If I'm wearing something like white-ish, I'll wear these sunglasses. Um, if I'm wearing something like colorful, I will wear like my nude sunglasses. I have so many different sunglasses. And I sort of like the option of having different sunglasses. Um, when I wear makeup, I don't wear my sunglasses like on my face I will basically have them like this so they basically push my hair back so it's off my face because when I wear sunglasses it gives me this mark on my nose which is really annoying that is my last favorite that's not makeup now into the other favorites the fourth favorite of at the moment is these Kylie Jenner velvet liquid lipsticks. Now I have Posy K and Charmed here. These are my two favorites. You probably can't see them. They're both nudes. I have, I think I have a lot of Kylie Jenner nudes. This is also a Kylie Jenner lip kit that I've got on my lips. I love the kits that Kylie came out with because they're like the pencils are nice. The pencils do that you they push down like the first time you use them, you push them down. It kind of is it's annoying. But and then the actual color doesn't stay in there. They weren't very um well used tested. Um but these lip liquid lipsticks are amazing. They smell great. I love them. And they're not drying. Like a lot of liquid lipsticks even her matte liquid lipsticks are drying on my lips. My lips are one of those ones that are always chapped. No matter what, they're always chapped. I had an aim to be able to find liquid lipsticks that look good on my chapped lips. And these look great, I love them. Yeah, I recently bought a whole stack of the new ones, like I bought Charmed and I bought Bare, which I have on my lips. So, and I like the fact that Kylie brings out different sort of collections every so often. The one thing I don't like is with the Posy K, the applicator is very different. Like you might not be able to see it. Yeah, you can't see it, but the applicator is very hairy, very spiky. It's just very annoying. So annoying. But anyway, that is my fourth favorite. Moving on to my fifth favorite is the, it's another lip product, but this one is the Clarins Instant Light Lip Comfort Oil. I just call it the Clarins Lip Oil. This one is their honey flavor. I've had this since Christmas of last year. I have used quite a bit, and this is actually a more recent favorite. I used to love it this time like when I first got it last year no when I first got it like the beginning of this year and um, my lips have been a little bit chapped recently because we've just finished winter and 
and I remembered that I have this in my lip drawer. So I grabbed this out and I've been using it and I so love it. It's really good. They're a bit sticky. It's a bit like annoying that way, but still really nice and it makes my lips really good. So yeah, that's that one. My next favorite, which would be favorite number six, is my MAC foundations. Now I have this foundation on today. It is the, it, I use both of these. It is the Studio Fix Fluid and the Pro Longwear Foundation. Both are in NC15. I also have NW15, but it seems to be not working for me right now. Like this is the perfect color. These are, this is the exact same color, but they're just two different formulas. And I love both of these formulas separately, but they're just as good together as well. And I fell back in love with those foundations. When I was going through all my foundations and trying them, all of them out, to see which ones I was gonna keep and which ones I was gonna declutter for my declutter video. My seventh favorite is the MAC Concealer. I love this. I don't have this on today, but this is one of the best concealers. It's not as pigmented as some of the other ones, but it's been one of those ones that I've been loving right now. It's pigmented, but not too pigmented. It doesn't crease like this, like. You might not be able to see underneath my eyes, but my creasing underneath there is horrendous. And it's just the way my eyes are, like the under eyes. It's all, like every concealer I've ever tried has creased underneath my eyes, except for this one and one other. My eighth favorite is this Kylie Jenner Pressed Illuminating Powder. And I have this this color here is French Vanilla. I still have it in the box. I, I love the box. But I love the fact that it's a different sort of highlighter. Like it is a metallic highlighter. It makes, like you guys may be able to see this highlighter on my cheeks, which, which is not this. But this, this is done through these lights that I've got on now. But this look is what this makes you look like without the lights. It's amazing. I love it. I got two more favorites and both of these two favorites are eyeshadow palettes. Now the first eyeshadow palette that is my favorite at the moment is the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes. Now this came out here in Australia September. And I had been eyeing this palette since it came off, uh, came out in America. And the second, well, I saw it was coming here to Australia on like social media. And then the second it was available, I went to the, sh the shops and got it like that. I didn't even test the eyeshadows. I did nothing. I just was like, well, we'll take that. So these are, these are the shades. I love the fact that the mirror, it's like big, but it's not ginormous, it's just big. But I love the fact that all, you can do a whole, you can do quite a few different looks with this palette. I have been loving this. I use it whenever I want this sort of eye look, but still be very matte. I have days where I want just a complete matte look, or some days I want just a shimmery look. Shimmery look. So, so much fun. And my last favorite at the moment is this palette. This is the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. And it's actually what I've got on my eyes today. This is the first look of my three in one eyeshadow looks using this palette. I think I use seven of these eyeshadows. But I love, I love the concept of this palette because this is like the only palette you need to take when you go traveling. You can have, you can use so many different looks. It's great. That's why I sort of thought, let's do a three in one eyeshadow palette video. I am actually really in love with the formula of all of these shadows that I've tried so far. Haven't used them all, 
but by the end of that three-in-one palette I'm hoping to have used all if not most of these eyeshadows my absolute favorite eyeshadow is Baja it's an orange it's what I've got on my lower lash line and in my crease that is the end of my 10 top 10 favorites at the moment and I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys want to see anything else let me know in the comments I can easily do different videos for you guys um, yeah if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel because it means so much to me when you guys do and I will see you guys in my next video thanks guys Bye!